Now is the time of Fashion Week in Paris. Many leading fashion houses have presented their new collections, but one show had a very special final. During the Copernic show final, Bella Hadid was sprayed within 10 minutes. The misty liquid was then transformed into fabric. Finally, a beautiful white dress was created in front of the audience. Unusual spray which dried quickly on the body was created by scientist Manuel Torres. Copernic designer Sebastian Meyer and Arno Willand, before they showed the dress on the catwalk, the preparation process for the dress and the fitting of the dress was in June in London and the place for this was Center of Bioscience and Innovation in London. And the model for this fitting was Brazilian model Ana Barroche. It was very quick, to be honest. Uh, my agency um, booked me this job in, I think it was the end of June, but uh, I could not post about it because um, they have the rules. The, um, so there is the, the scientist, his name is Manel. He's been working with this technology. It's been a very long time already. So now um, he finally found someone that he could um, have in this partnership to make the dress uh, become true. But he's been working for a long time with this technology and he has other, other types of um, futuristic uh, fabrics as well. So I went there, we did two um, sp spray dresses so they can really understand how the fabric sits and everything. Um, it was just an afternoon, it was, was very, very quick. And it's very nice because the fabric, it's biodegradable. So it doesn't harm the environment either. Um, Annie, on the runaway, it was sprayed during 10 minutes. So how it is uh, felt and was it strange? You know, it, 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 it felt like the same sensation as putting a spray deodorant. You know, that's a little, it's, it's a little chilly, but it's fine. And it's very mind blowing because it's really liquid that comes out of um, the, the spray. And then you see that thing. So the fibers, once um, the spray hits your body, you can see them getting together. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. I don't know. I don't know how to explain this because it's so mind blowing. It's very, very nice. After the show, everyone compared it to the Alexander McQueen iconic moment with the robot. So how it was for you? Yes, yes. When I was doing the, the fitting, because I love science, I'm, I'm very into sci science, science fiction and all, you know, the, this technology key word. Um, so when I went to the lab, I, that, that was the first thought in my mind. That this is going to be very McQueen with the machines and everything. But it's still, I, I didn't have any, uh, like, I didn't know how they would bring on the, the machines because it was from London to Paris. So they need, you know, the, the, the whole thing, which they did. Um, it, it's just, it just feels like out of a movie, you know, that next time I go to a party, I go to the shop and someone is going to spray the dress on me and I'm ready to go, you know? It's fantastic. And also the fabric, it's very... It, it's really a fabric because it has the whole movement you can see on her body. You can see on my body in the picture that it really shapes her body. So I think if somehow in the future they can um, arrange this technology to be in a shop, I think it would be amazing. Ani Barro, she's a famous Brazilian model. For our viewers, she is a very familiar face because model was taking part in our dancing with It was dancer. one of the best experiences of my whole life. Like, super. Like, doing doing the fitting for Coperni was one. Doing Dancing with the Stars was another one for the books. Um, it was amazing. It was amazing. Georgian people were so nice to me. I had a wonderful time. I had a lot of fun. I was not a good dancer, though. But I did try my best. <laughs> People don't really see the hard work that, that goes. We train a lot. 
Like it's the whole day, every day. There is no day of rest. Uh, either we are training or we are filming something for, for the TV, but it's everyday work, every day. Um, so it's, it's very hard, like mentally and physically, because you need to present a good number for the people as well. So there is the responsibility of bring a good show as well. And also I have to say that Georgia Dancing with the Stars, the level is so high, so, so high. I've seen other versions. I've seen UK version. I've seen Brazilian version. Annie, what are you planning for the future? I've been traveling as a model for the past, I think, 10, 11 years. I lived in 13 different countries all over the world, different continents. So I love to travel. I love to meet new people. And through my work, I was able to do this. And now I'm based in London. Um, I'm going to be here for a while. I'm, I'm building my life in here. Um, and also I'm designing jewelry. So I'm designing necklaces, rings, and, and everything. And I'm going to launch a collection in the end of the year. So I've been working um, on this part. I, I still do modeling, of course, but I also wanted to, to start on, on a very long dream that is to design jewelry. So hopefully in December, we're going to have a collection of stuff and you guys can check it out. <laughs> And you're wearing such beautiful accessories. Is one of yours? Yes, yes. This one I designed. It. It's a pair of earrings. And I have um, uh, a ring as well. I just have these two pieces right now. But more is going to come. Thank you, Annie. Looking forward to meeting you very soon. Thank you. See you, Nini. Bye-bye.